Welcome to Resellers Roundtable. What is it worth? The game where you guess the sold price. So the rules here are pretty simple. All you have to do is guess the price of what the item sold for. You can either be low or above the price. Whoever's got the closest price at the end of the round, it will be declared the winner and get one point. We will run this season one 12 episodes, so whoever is the grand pooba who's got the highest tally at the end of the 12 episodes will become the champion and win the prizes below. Let's get this show started now. All right, so here's the last one. This is two points, so if you win it, you get bumped up two. Um, it's kind of a bonus thing. It is a, uh, it's an Amazon item now. We went from eBay to Amazon. This was an item that I personally picked up and I sold. I bought this at the Dollar General a week before Christmas. It was just sitting there. And I know that seems odd, like it says Amazon exclusive, but it was sitting at my Dollar General. So that's an older item. Yeah. I, Amazon, or the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Electro Collector's Edition, exclusive Blu-ray, rank 75K, um, one new seller. It, the only seller really was Amazon, right? Um, is the the blue head guy, is that like the case for the... Yeah, it comes in a big box. It's a good-sized box, and inside the box is the... But does this mean it's sold for something, or how much someone's asking for it? Cause no, this is what I sold it for. Okay, okay. okay. So Amazon, <laughs> Amazon has their price for it, and if you are to look this up right now, the price is a lot higher than what I sold it for. Oh, shit. But I'll, but I'll tell you exactly what I sold it for recently. Um, I just bought in December, sent it in. I think I sold this like January 3rd. Um, but well, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a box set for The Amazing Spider-Man. Brand new, wasn't used. 75,000 rank. The only seller was Amazon FBA, Amazon themselves. Uh, let's just get down the list. This is the last one here. Elizabeth, what do you think it sold for? Um... Okay, this sounds crazy. I'm going to say, I'm going to say 179. 179. Dr. Wynn. How much? 195. 195. Dana. Let's go 225. 225. Somebody's Gina. Crunching. That might be me, sorry. Uh, 137. Gina says 137. Steve. 150. 150. Uh, I have no idea. Zaza. I have no idea. I paid five bucks for this. She says 75. 75. Uh, Diana. 78. 78. Lance. Uh, 250. 250. That's what I was thinking. Becky. 55. 55. Kendall. 25. 25. Dalton. I was going to say 150, but somebody else said that, so I'll just say like 175. 175. James. Uh, 248. 248. Jason. How about uh, 45? Some Peter Kim. What did it sell for? I, I have no idea. I'm going to say 300. 300 bucks? Yeah. Ooh. I All think right. that looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I have no idea. See, that's the thing. I never know what Mike sells things for. So. <laughs> All right. So. That's a good woman right there. All right, she brings, so in the, brings in the money. Yeah, as long as it's coming in, then I'm good. For you guys that are live. Sixty nine ninety eight is what I sold it for. So, Zaza, that's a good come up. Yeah, I, think it for it. I would have thought just because it's kind of cool looking, I would have thought it really would have gone for higher. I'll tell you, I, <laughs> at, the, at the time I bought it, when I sent it in, there was like fifteen other sellers, like it was nationwide oh. Dollar General. Oh, okay. There was a couple people who paid for profit that got it. Oh, and like okay. when I sent my in, I was at over a hundred. Then there was eighty, and I'm like, dude, I only paid five bucks for it. I think Amazon's selling it right now for one forty nine. 
I, I'm just saying I would have thought it would have gone for a lot more. It's just such a cool looking thing. Yeah. It seemed to me like it would have been a high price. Yeah. Okay, to sum up episode number one, we have the leaderboard now at Peter at two, James two, and Zaza two, all tied for first. We also have Gina, Elizabeth, Charlie, all with one. Now, Charlie, he won from the previous episode. He guessed the uh, the closest of number to the price of the Spider-Man. So he's on a leaderboard. Now let's get into episode number two. Okay, this is episode number two of the Resellers Roundtable. What is it worth? We're going to do a recap here. As you just saw, we had uh, Zaza come in and win that freaking deal with the uh, Amazon. And so she's she got two points from that. That's that 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 focus round, right? That second. We got a whole round. new uh, panel tonight, guys. We got some of the old, same faces, but we're gonna <clears> drop right into tonight's show here. Let me let me log in here and uh, see what the first item is. Let me go over here. All right, screen share. You gonna take over uh, Drew Carey's job? I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, dude. All right. Can you guys see this? Ooh. Everybody can see it? Yes. Okay. It's a rare Chippendale carved mahogany chair Philadelphia circa 1755. All right. This one went to auction. It ended January 20th. Uh, it says buy responsible for arranging with the seller. Now, before we start saying what is this worth, this almost looks like something you could possibly find, doesn't it? Anybody want to talk about this really quick? Just uh, Does anybody know anything about furniture? Do you guys sell furniture? Let's, let's no. kind of get a conversation going back and forth. I would walk by that all day long. All right, so if you saw it for 25 bucks, 10 bucks in a state sale. Yeah, okay. Wow. But it Looks like something at my grandma's house. Yeah. It might, it it might pop a little more if the back legs were matched the front. I just noticed that. Yeah, th that's different, isn't it? The the legs on that are completely different front and back. Okay. That's the way they did it back then. Who knows? For stability. Yeah, could be. All right, so let's go down the line here. And we're going to switch it up this week because last week we went in order. We're going to go in order and then reverse order. So, Dana, the Chippendale carved mahogany chair, what do, what do you think it sold for? It was pretty old. Uh, I'm gonna say twenty seven hundred. Okay, Steve. Um, thirty four fifty. We got Steve at thirty four fifty. Kendall, you there? Yeah, I'm gonna say nine thousand. Nine G's. James, mahogany chair. Uh, twelve thousand. Twelve thousand five hundred. Twelve thousand five hundred. Point. We're pulling some big numbers here, people. All right, Czar. Is it Zarzar? Zarzar is uh, 6,300. Okay. All right. Uh, Adele. 4,100. 4,100. Sweet. Jay Nagel, you there? Yep. What do you think, dude? 250. $2.50? 250 bucks? 250 bucks. I'm a realist. All right. 250 bucks. <laughs> Chuck. 1,600. 1,600. Becky, rare. 10,000. 10,000? Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. I Joseph, 12,450. Okay. All right. All right. Let me get off the screen share here and we'll jump on and see the price. Interesting. Everybody was going a little high there. That's, that's interesting. From last week. Yeah. Yeah, seven thousand dollar beer sign. Give me a break, <laughs> dude. You guys are gonna freak at this. You guys are gonna freak. Holy shit! Damn, two hundred and sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> Is that even for real, dude? <laughs> two hundred sixty thousand dollars. Two hundred sixty thousand. James got it. Twelve thousand five hundred. I gotta stop flipping these T-shirts. <laughs> <You know, right? laughs> yeah, James. James the highest. Twelve thousand five hundred. Thirty-two bids. Well, well, look at the seller though. Something yeah, look at the red. No auction house. That's why. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Oh. They have people from all over the world building. Uh, yeah, look at their feedback. <laughs> South of Beach only sold 19 things online ever. Hey, I'd take it. With that, I only need to say one item every 10 years. One a year works for me, yeah. Yeah, you, when you look up that, if you go, if you're bored one day and you want to just look up that account, that's why I left the, the name there, just right. look at it because they have some sick auctions. I bet. But yeah, they're a big auction house. Yeah, 260 k I'm not spending 260 k on anything on uh, eBay. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, Sotheby's has the name, the draw, but my gosh. I for 2600 bucks, they can't pay to have that shipped. <laughs> Buyer's <laughs> responsible. <laughs> that item was in New York, so I mean, hey, you you know, a lot of big money there. You could have a chauffeur driven to my house, dude. <laughs> that is just isn't that just outrageous? Two hundred sixty grand. I mean, I'm not like saying it. I've seen. I'm not saying I've seen those chairs. I've seen similar chairs like that. Right. And I'm, I'm you know what I mean. Even from like the fifties and earlier, they all pretty much look like that. Yeah, it's like grandma's chair, you know. And you know what? Next time I I'm wouldn't in, know if I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I'm in a state sale, I'll still walk by. I don't care. I've got three of those in my living room. I'm out, guys. I'm gonna <laughs> cash out right here. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Isn't that nuts though? Two hundred and sixty thousand dollars. I mean, if you're going to estate sales, garage sales, I mean I get maybe you know what? I think that price was driven by the name, obviously, but it's I'm gonna be looking around. I've been flipping that furniture upside down looking for you know <laughs> you know? Two hundred two hundred and fifty years old and looks like it's pretty pristine condition. Yeah, doesn't it? It looks immaculate. <laughs> How would you advertise something like that to to get the right traffic to to look at it? I mean, well, the starting bid was like a hundred thousand. That's probably all it takes. Yeah, I mean, if it's in Sotheby's catalog, I mean, it's getting pumped out there to obviously wealthy bidders. But their marketing is incredible. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've never found anything that crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean. If you've got something that's like unique like that, I guess what's the worst you can do? You contact the other bees. Hey, you interested in this, this item? You know what yeah. I mean? And see what they say. Best thing I ever found was a Cavalli shirt. What'd you get for that? I flipped it quick for sixty bucks. There you go. <laughs> but you know what I mean? If you can get something, and you know, there's all these these bigger auction houses out there that if you can say, "Hey, are you interested?" Because I f I find books all the time that are like I think are rare. That I can't find much on Amazon with, and there's a couple good websites you can go to of these book uh, buyers and auctioneers. And a lot of times, unfortunately for me, they uh, oh, that's not a rare copy. It's not. That's not. That's nothing. That's a ten dollar book. But yeah, if you could, yeah, you know, you can send the real good stuff to Sotheby's and Christie's, dude. Their their name alone, you know, brings quality and brings bids. It's insane. So let, let's jump to the next one here. Uh, we'll screen share this one. We're going to go in the reverse uh, order here. So we'll start with Joseph. Let me pull this up here. Okay, another auction item. This is, uh, and I'm going to try to pronounce this right. It's uh, Monte Grappa. Muhammad Ali 18 karat gold with MOP resin fountain pen, MF, new in box, limited edition 61. Got a little side note here. Retail 23K. 75 bucks for shipping. 75 bucks for shipping. It's a heavy ass pin. So it went pretty went pretty good. This uh I can't see people's uh chat here. So if anybody sees Joseph make the price, let me know. If not, we'll get back to him. Um Becky, are you there? What do you think this pen went for? Is anybody looking in the chat just to see if he hasn't done anything yet. Okay, no, so he hasn't said anything yet. Oh yeah, Joseph, seven thousand eight hundred and forty. Seven thousand eight forty. All right, Becky, we got this uh, Monte Grappa. Grappa, Muhammad Ali. Look, you can see it's got Muhammad Ali like stitched there. Think he can even write his name? Probably not. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> um. So Becky, if you can get back to us, Chuck, what do you think, dude? Uh, thirty-one hundred. 3100 Jay Noggle. What was, what was the 
retail again? Well, the retail is they, they're, the retail. What they say at the bottom there, they they spent the extra money to get that second uh, title description there. Twenty three k. Twenty three thousand is what's worth, worth supposedly. That's what they're saying retail. And it's Mahalan. I'm gonna say seventy eight thousand. Seventy eight k. Yep. All right, Adele. Forty nine k. Forty nine thousand. Okay. <clears throat> hey, I'm here. This is Becky. Okay, hey Becky, what you what you got in price? What do you think this Muhammad Ali pen sold for? Uh I'm gonna go with five thousand. Five thousand. Okay, Czar. Can we look for her in the chat? Because I can't see it. Sixty three hundred. Sixty three hundred again. Sixty three. James. Uh thirty two thousand. Thirty two K. Kendall. I'm not sure now. <laughs> I guess I'll go 4000 4, 4000 Steve? I don't think it's going to bring full retail. And let's go 11, one. $11,100. $11,100. And Dana? <clears throat> um, I'll go with the retail. 23000 Might bought it. 23K. All right, let's go check it out, see what happened here. Bring this up. Okay, it pulled up here on auction 25 bids, 5999 adding the $75 shipping. Uh, let's see who we got here. Zara's got it, 6300 That's what I thought because I, okay, they went over. Yeah, my bad. That's Poor Muhammad on, Ali. Blame me on the Coors Light with Mike, but. <laughs> <laughs> So 6,300, wow, okay. The Thriller of Manila. Pretty amazing there. Let me go back here and we'll put the next item here. Let's see here. It makes you wonder what that pen was actually worth. I mean, obviously, what it went for 6,300, but, right. you know, it's like one of those things where it's like. How many do they make and what's the. What's the actual gold is in it. Mm-hmm. You know, a friend of mine found a uh, a Buddha. Um, it was underneath a table at a thrift store. And uh, he put it outside in front of his yard. And he was like, man, it's a pretty nice piece. So a couple weeks later, a friend of his came by and uh, was like, hey, man, I think that Buddha's worth some money. So he's like, um, you know, you might want to co uh, contact the auction house. So he contacted the auction house, I guess uh, took a picture of it or whatever. And they was like, man, bring it down here. They put it on the auction block, and he cleared, I think he cleared like 32000 from it. Jeez. And he paid like, I think, uh, maybe like 50 bucks at this kind of hole-in-the-wall thrift store. Right. How so can I like, find anything like that? <laughs> the stuff is out there, I guess. You gotta look I need to start looking at that kind of stuff, though, at the thrift stores, you know? I don't know what, I don't know what to look for. That's crazy. <laughs> Well, this is a good one. Okay. All right. So we're going to go back in the reverse order here. Here we have an antique photograph. 1900s men on vacation went to auction. I don't know what a 1900s men is, but uh, let's go ahead and find here. We got Dana. What do, you, what do you think this sold for, Dana? Oh, geez. 900 bucks. $900. Steve. All right. This is a good question for you guys. How do you say, is it ephemera, the word that describes paper and, and when you deal in this kind of stuff, vintage paperwork, is it e -P -H -E -R -E ephemera? You ever hear that word? Totally, yeah. I pronounce it ephemera. Okay. I, I've never had any luck with this stuff. I'd say $14. $14. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've done well with some pictures. It's it's subject matter. Um, yeah, I've had some pictures go for a couple hundred dollars, believe it or not, and, um, and it was all driven through auction. And believe it or not, the this may be a little bit off topic, but again, the crazier the picture, the more it's worth more money in my eyes, right? And obviously through the buyer's eyes on eBay, like I sold a bunch of it looked like gay military photos, right? Like oh, I've guys, seen those, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put some pictures in the resellers roundtable and show you because I, I just found them the other day. I sold them like a year or two ago. 
and they went for a couple hundred bucks and that's it was crazy. crazy. Um, but if you look at like photos on eBay or Etsy, some of them go for crazy money. Obviously, if you can find, um, you know, celebrity photos, those are amazing as well. But uh, all right, so Steve, fourteen dollars, Kendall. Then we get back. Uh, to, oh, you there? I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say thirty dollars. Thirty dollars, James. Uh, ten bucks. Ten bucks, Czar. Can anybody see her comment in the chat? Twenty-five dollars, she said. Twenty-five, Adele. As soon as I saw it, I thought fifteen. Fifteen dollars. It looks like the photo's blurry, and but the question is: Is the photo within the photo blurry? You know what I mean? All right. It's crazy. Uh, Jay, something in the description about where he's at that makes it worth the money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Chuck. Chuck, you there? We'll get back to you if you're not there. Yeah, eight dollars. Eight dollars. All right, Becky. Five dollars. Five dollars. And Joseph in the chat. Forty seven fifty, he said. Forty seven fifty. Now let's pull this one up. <laughs> oh. uh, wow. free shipping so becky got that That's finally right. i got one right yeah finally there see there was a redemption from my script earlier <laughs> thanks five bucks i mean a penny with free shipping did it did uh, this guy make any money i mean is this how you do it <laughs> One penny free shipping. Did I lose again? Yep. There's a niche that we ought to look into more. And what do you think? Let's say we buy a hundred thousand O's and we we'll would make a dollar or thousand dollars. Nice. It's definitely interesting. The photos they're I like, know if you have a, a lot of them. You could you know you can make some money because obviously mm -hmm. they. He just screwed himself and offered free shipping, but yeah, I, from my experience with them, they they do great in lots because there's all these there's certain sellers that's all they do. It's all old photos, you know, and they have their price points. But I just think that was a bad move at that point. A penny with free shipping. I mean, you're not even giving your chance to win. And I think with eBay, always give yourself a chance to win. You know, I mean, you don't have to list your stuff for a penny with free shipping. No, you know. All right, so let's move on down the road here with the next item. Got to charge shipping in all your auctions. Yep, I I'm always and, a stickler with that, dude. You know, Dana. I mean, I always have to have that little bit of a cushion there. Yep. Do that. Um, obviously, if it was something I knew was worth a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, if I if I start my auction at like fifty bucks, I'll give free <laughs> shipping depending on the item. Yeah. How, how big cool. it is. Totally. All right. This one's going to be an eye opener, guys. <laughs> We're going to go back in the reverse order here. Here, we just have a Pokemon plush trio. Went to auction uh, today. Uh, $6 shipping. Just threw it on the granite countertop. Joseph, what do you think this sold for? If Joseph's not there, we can move to Becky. Um, $65. $65. Chuck. One hundred and twenty-seven. One twenty-seven. J. Uh, Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine dollars. Okay, Adele. Pokemon. Fifty. Fifty bucks. Czar, can you look in the chat? Anybody? In One sixty-three. She said one hundred sixty-three. One sixty-three. James. Uh. Two hundred dollars. Yeah. Two hundred bucks, Kendall. Twelve ninety nine. Twelve dollars. <laughs> Twelve dollars ninety nine cents. Yes. Okay, Steve. Thirty one dollars. Thirty one and Dana. A hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. All right. Let's see what we got here. Those Pokemon's man, they 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 bring you some money.
All right. So it went for twelve dollars, <laughs> one bid plus six shipping, eighteen dollars. Did, did we even get jo did we get Joseph's reply? Sixty bucks. He said sixty. All right. So we're at eighteen. From my calculations, looks like Kendall got this. All right, twelve ninety nine. Yeah. Can, can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You there, Joseph? Yeah. Cool. I just turn my mic on now, so I ain't got to uh, type. Cool, man. Glad to have you here. The uh, yeah. So Kendall got that twelve ninety nine. Congrats to Kendall. He's on the leaderboard. Because he was at twelve ninety nine. The lowest, the second lowest person was twenty nine. Wow. Jay. Right, yeah, that, that's something that I think you know. If you're if you're at anywhere, garage sale, thrift stores, if you look up Pokemon stuff, plush, they can bring some coin. Obviously, those didn't. Maybe it wasn't the right time to do a lot of that. But uh, if you can, if you look up complete listings, either on eBay or Amazon, um, they definitely bring some coin. All right, let's go to this next one here, and we'll do the reverse uh, engineering. Okay, this is an interesting one, guys. Excuse me. Um, my passion here, I love Star Wars action figures, vintage stuff. Dana, we have a Star Wars vintage Jawa vinyl cape, 100% original. This thing looks minty fresh. What do you think it's sold for? Dana's not there. Steve? Oh, good. Another one on the so. Oh, my bad. I said 198. Oh, 198. Okay, cool. 198. Steve? 110 bucks. 110. Kendall? Uh, 99 bucks. $99. James? Uh, $75. 75. Czar? She said 360. 360. Adele? We'll get Adele's reply in here. A few J. 79. 79. Chuck. 149. 149. Becky. Okay, so I'm going to go 165. 165 on the Jawa. Joseph. <coughs> Profit boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say 45. 45 bucks. All right. Uh, Adele, are you there? Give her a minute here. Yes, I am. Okay, Adele, did you see the, the, the Jawa? Yeah, I said 200. Okay, 200. Cool. I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you there. No, you didn't hear me because I was muted. So. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's move over here. 200 bucks of a Jawa. All right, let's go back over here. Boom. Jesus Christ. One thousand seven hundred and fifteen dollars. <laughs> do you think that had anything to do with the seller being OB one? <laughs> you know, I should never listen to everybody else. I was gonna say a thousand, but you all went so cheap. I went cheap too. <laughs> the, the, you know, I'm looking at this, I mean the figure looks immaculate. It's complete. It's got the vinyl cape, which I know is rare. But seven hundred bucks? Wow! Yeah, but I've never seen a Jawa action figure before, so they got to be fairly rare. Mm -hmm. It it kind of makes you wonder how much a mint on card would go for. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I've got a couple of Jawas, but they they're not going to bring seventeen hundred dollars like this one. <laughs> the, the well, didn't they originally? I don't know if you, you guys are Star Wars nerds like me, but I'm pretty sure the vinyl cape version was rare. Then there was yeah. a cloth version, but I, I could be mistaken. Um, but anyway, the closest person to that was Czar, three hundred sixty bucks. There you go. So yeah, now now we've got Czar is in the lead here. She's moving forward, or is it he? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a woman, I bet. Okay. Yeah, that was a shocker with that action figure. All right, so we're gonna so move on. I, What's that? Where am I in the standings? <laughs> 
You're you're at the bottom, man. Sorry, I'll dude. Oh, for two days, man. You're gonna get, you're gonna get this next one. I promise you, dude. Ah, uh, you gonna rig it for me? Okay, I like. I'll try. Uh, maybe I'll text you the the info. Seven thousand dollars. <laughs> All right. Th now this one, I I I wanted to share this one tonight because I figure you know what, the uh, you, you're gonna find these. You're gonna find these in the town. All right. So let's jump into this one here, and then. Um, we're going to go down the line. I think I started last time with, um, was it? Yeah, I started with Joseph, didn't I? No, nah, I was the last one. Oh, your last one. Okay, so you're the first one now. All right. So here it is commercial rainbow 18 foot water slide inflatable with the blower. You know, when you're selling these things, you got to have the blower. All right. What did this sell for, Joseph, on auction? Oh, man. I'm going to say 600. 600 bucks. All right, Becky. Okay, I'm going to go 6500 6500 Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Chuck. I'm going to go 980 $980. Jay. What was the shipping? Free local pickup out of North Carolina. Oh, oh really? Okay. Um... Anybody say twelve hundred yet? Nope. Okay, there you go. Twelve hundred. Yeah, I think my laptop overheated, so I had to change computers. What happened on that that draw off here? It went for some sick amount. It went for let's see. All right, seventeen hundred. Yeah. Who won that one? Uh, Zar did. Zar. Yeah, she's now she's the leader now. She we're all chasing her. Um, Adele. We got the commercial rainbow water slide. What do you think? I say a thousand. A thousand dollars. Uh, Zar, what do you think on the water slide? Ah. She says her name is Za, like Zaza. Zaza, Za. Okay, I, I'm Za. Okay. Zaza, no. Zaza. <laughs> Zaza Gabor. There you go. Zaza. Thirty-six hundred dollars is what she's typed in. Thirty-six hundred. All right, James. Six thousand. Six K. Kendall. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, twenty two hundred. Twenty two hundred. Steve, here's your chance, man. You know, I actually sold a slide like this, and when I research it, I can't see this going for more than six hundred bucks. Six hundred bucks. And Dana. Uh, 3000 3000 It's definitely interesting because you see these. I mean, you see, all over the summertime, you know, people are renting them. If you've ever looked into getting into that business, that's good money in that business. It's hustle. But, you know, um, I've sold these over before in the past. I've sold the blower motors for them. If you ever see those blower motors, they're like the big orange ones, right? Pick them up, dude. You can, you can flip them for good money on uh, Craigslist. If somebody always needs them. Uh, let's go over here to the screen share and see what it's sold for. $1,499. So we look like, uh, well, somebody just sold something. So you got to tell, whoever did the cha-ching, what, what, what did you sell? <laughs> it's just a bid. Just a bid. What, what, what was the bid on? Uh, Brooks Brothers shirt. All right, cool. All right, the winner of this, from my calculations, is Jay. You, you won. You got the freaking rainbow uh, water slide inflatable. <laughs> nice. Sweet. <laughs> All right, so. I'm feeling like a loser. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it, it, this is hard. Right. You're still ahead of me. <laughs> so, so really, overall, guys, just a, re a recap before we get to the, the bonus one. Is this a hard game? I mean, what's your thoughts? I mean. I'm not getting any, so it's uh it's eBay, so you never really know. That's right. Well that that chair when you threw that up there I thought, wait a second, isn't is this uh um oh crap, what's the name of that show? Um oh, sure. Antique Antiques Roadshow? <laughs> yeah, for that type of price? Holy cow. That's what I thought. They're just, you know, I, I like to pick random different things, and just we just try to guess on it because 
Nice. Honestly, you know, you never know. I mean, you might look at you might look at a slide like that and say, "Oh my God, the guy's selling for fifty bucks, and you can't get rid of it for two hundred. You tried for a year, you know." Um, I see a lot of local pickup. Do you guys do a lot of local pickup? Ever since I moved to Arizona, I don't do anything local pickup because I'm just I'm still trying to find out what people want out here. Like locally, like Craigslist, local Facebook. But I would do it in Chicago when I lived in Illinois with uh, like furniture. I've done it with bikes on eBay. And I've had yeah. great success with it. I mean, I typically sold every one that I had thrown up on eBay over time. So uh, I, just, I just haven't ever I have, a, I have a plus size mannequin. I think I'm going to have to do that locally. Yeah, I mean. Too big to mail. I had a set of speakers I just sold that I offered local pickup, but unfortunately, they got shipped and got fucking damaged. Yeah, that, that's the big thing. When, it, when you got bigger items, I would say try the local pickup. I mean, maybe try for a week or two and then back on the shipping because, you know, eBay, I mean, obviously eBay is global, but it's people are searching through on eBay all day, you know, from California to Florida. So, worth a shot rather than trying to package up something big you know because like i can tell you that water slide folded up would probably could not fit in the back of my van uh, yeah that. and it probably weighs 500 pounds yeah so you'd have to create it somehow you'd have to do something crazy with it but um but the same with a bike i mean some people say that you know bikes are too much to ship um yeah they're a pain in the butt i mean if you if you, if you had a bike that you could break down you can stick it in the box, or you can go to one of these, you know, UPS outlets or these package places. Yeah. I've, I've shipped quite a few bikes, and they're not, you know, yeah. they'll ship for thirty, forty bucks. Not too bad. Have you done it yourself, Dana? Yeah, we yeah. raced, we raced BMX, so I got rid of a lot of bikes that way. Nice. You know how to pack them up, take them apart. Nice. Yeah. So. <clears throat> What would it what would it take you in terms of like packaging that bike up? Would it be like a three hour project or are you No. Thirty minutes, if that. A friend of mine. You can find the right size boxes, that's the problem. Finding a box. Yeah. We were using Franken Franken boxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, for you guys watching on YouTube, here we have a Nora Jones Artist Choice. CD that I picked up at the thrift store for maybe under a buck or two. I'm always looking for new sealed anything really, but uh, you can find some great profits in selling this type of stuff on Amazon. Now, what I need you guys to do that are watching on YouTube, to leave a comment and guess what I sold this for. So here's the details on it. It was a brand new sealed CD with the rank of about 101000 The lowest news price was $39.85. No FBA sellers. What did I sell it for? Leave a comment down below, and the person closest to the, the price, when I choose them, they will be entered in here and be on the leaderboard. So let's sum it up here today in this episode of What Is It Worth? We have a clear leader here, Za at four. We have a runner-up, James, at three. Peter at two. And we, it looks like we have a six-way tie at one point apiece with Gina, Elizabeth, Charlie from YouTube, Becky, Kendall, and Jay. I'd personally like to thank everybody that's participated in the What Is It Worth show live. I also would like to appreciate all the people that check it out on YouTube, the replay. Uh, if you're interested in being part of the show, you can go into the Facebook group, Resellers Roundtable. And uh, usually shows are on Friday nights. You can come check it out live and participate and see if you have what it takes to be the champion at What It's Worth. Thanks, guys, for watching. Until next time, we're out of here. Peace.